Hey folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm just pulling some handles, or rather I have already pulled some handles here. Um, I pulled these half an hour or so ago. And one thing to note when you pull handles, okay, make sure that you chop them off on the board as much at a right angle as you possibly can, okay? It'll just make it a lot easier for attachment. Okay, so what we're going to need, banding wheel. These pots are on the board, as you see, they're upside down. That's because always invert your pots when you've made them, as soon as the rims will allow you to turn them upside down. Turn them upside down so that you, the, the, the bases will dry off, so you'll get overall even drying. Okay, so what I do now is I just simply thumb off there on that undercut that I put in with the stick. It's so simple, it's so quick. Okay, I'm looking for the spiral here from the, um, the cutoff wire. I don't know if you, can, if you can make that out, but where the spiral is, where I'm tapping with my finger, that's where the, the, the handle joins at the bottom and then at the top right above, okay? That's how I do it. I mean, you know, you haven't got to do it like that, of course. It's just my little... I think because Dad used to do it, actually. <laughs> yes, our parents, they teach us some good things, don't they? Anyway. Yeah, 20th of June. So, take your, take your handle, all right? Use your, your knuckle of your thumb here. Make it go wider at the end. You see that? So you've got a little bit of clay there, top and bottom, that you're going to smooth in right here. Like that, so offer it up, push it in, supporting behind like that, and then with the index finger on the bottom, you go like this you see and then with your thumb on the top just take the clay and just smooth it in and attach it next dip in the water pot give him half a dozen quick pulls just to freshen him up okay always maintain this right angle that you see here you see how he's hanging he's not hanging like that he's hanging like that so the handle hangs nice and vertical okay take him by the end okay supporting him by the end because I'm holding him and now I bring him down and around like that line him up touch him there just give him a little lift there like that quick inspection finger over the top and under the bottom like that now drive dry off your hand on your apron like this wipe it over once to remove the wetness now take the, your thumb and just like that and like uh, that. You see? What could be simpler? All right. Hey, Sheena. So I'm putting them now over, over here, over there on that board now, the ones that I've done, you see? So they're gonna go here then I take the yogurt container, push it in the top because it's tapered, you see, and that will help to, uh, to, to round it. Keep it nice and round. Okay, next. We're just going to make this pretty quick. Um, all right. Thumb off. We don't want to get involved with trimming, do we? Not for something so quick as these. You, you really don't need to. It's just a, and just an extra operation that is just going to take take time. Okay, let's just do this quickly. Uh, join him up there to that keyed area. Thumb and finger, top and bottom, like that. In the water pot. Give him a couple of pulls, or three or four. Just to freshen up the handle, you see. Um, it just makes it look neat, nicer and neater and, and uh, cleaner, doesn't it? 
You see, the, the skill of this, the art of doing this, as my dad used to say, an artist is, isn't a special kind of person. But every person is a special kind of artist, you see. You've got to become an artist at putting on handles. All right? So the art, the art of doing this is to be able to do it quickly and cleanly, deftly, and without a lot of touching and sponging and smoothing. And, okay, so now that, just in there, just press down lightly, just in case he went out of round, and I leave him there like that, you see, for the next, for the next one. Okay, next. Yeah. What's the time? Oh yeah, twenty past six. Like that. Into there. Push him like that. Index finger on the bottom and thumb across the top like that. Okay, in there. Half dozen pulls just to keep this nice and right angle here. Got a nice right angle. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Pull him around like that. Mm. Don't need to score the bottom, folks, okay? You don't need to do that. Once with your finger there, dry your thumb on your apron and. 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 There he is. Eyeball him after you've done it, from the side, from this angle, and also from on top, okay? All right. Put him over here. Yogurt container inside. I'll, I'll be sealing those uh, in a little while, probably before, probably before bed, you know. I'll seal those. While you're doing this, cast your eye over the bottom of the pot. If there are any little nasty, scabby bits of clay, then now's the time to get rid of them. Important, folks, work off a clean wear board, okay? Number one, have a wear, have a wear board anyway to start with. I bet some of you don't even have wear boards, do you? Get yourself some wear boards. Do yourself a favor. If you please. <laughs> okay. And then you'll make yourself life a lot easier for yourself, you see. If you've got a wear board. You'll be a lot more organized with wear boards. You'll be surprised. And then get some shelving, some racking up in you know in your studio where you can slot the the uh, the, the, the the wear board onto. See it's it's a great asset to be able to just move your move your pots around your pottery studio very quickly and easily not one at a time you want to move like 20 at a time you know what i mean yeah okay wipe that once and then like that and then like that and that little tail off yeah eyeball him give him a quick once over look he's good okay on the board yeah, we're going to do one more. We're going to do one more. Thumb him off, you see. He's so quick, isn't he? He's so quick to do. All right, look out now for any little scabby bits, scratches, indentations, knocks, dents. Something like that. Doodly doodly. That's it. Get the end there. Prepare the end. Now, offer him up there. Push him on like that. Index finger, thumb. Here's a tip for you. When you're pulling handles, pull one extra, okay? I always do, I always pull one extra. I hardly ever use it, but I always pull it because you know what, when, once you've pulled your handles and then you, um, you know, you put, them, you put all the clay away and everything, 
and then in the process of putting on the handles, one goes wrong. You've then got to get all that clay out, you know, and just to pull one handle. It's much easier to, to do that uh, while you're in the, in the flow of pulling handles. Just pull one extra, you know. It's going to take you, it's going to take you 20 seconds. Just do that and then, um, hey, it looks like we're going to get these done, doesn't it? We might as well. I'm trying to get my clips a bit shorter. I was thinking, I was thinking, you know what? You know, when I look at other people's videos on YouTube and I think, I look at the, and I look at the video and then I look, how, I, I look, I look to see how long it is. And if it's 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I sometimes I think, oh, that's too long. I haven't got time for that. But if it's just three minutes or five minutes, I'll watch it. Are you, do you do that? Are you the same? So I was thinking, I should do that with my videos. Uh, perhaps um, make more of them, but just make them shorter. Give me some feedback on that. People these days haven't got time, have they, to... Um, we already spend too much time, don't we, sat in front of that wretched screen. Gosh. Yeah, I was going around some yard sales uh, at the weekend. Yeah, I got some good, I got some good things actually. Uh, yeah, I was going around some yard sales. You know, you pick up old cameras, don't you? You pick up 35mm cameras and you think, it's sort of... They're like a rel they're like relics, aren't they? But they're but they're not really. They still look modern, and I sometimes have to look twice, and I think, oh yeah, that's not actually a digital camera. That's a that's a you know something rather nice though about the um, for those of us who can remember what life was like, you know, before this digitalized, computerized world that we live in. Um, I was sort of thinking back, and you know, you see things at yard sales, don't you? That you, that hark back in your mind. You, they remind you of, oh yeah, I remember that back in the eighties, you know, or, <laughs> and I, and I, I rather like that kind of stuff in a way. I, I decided. So, I might even be tempted to buy a camera, you know, if it was just cheap, a thirty-five millimeter camera. I may not use it, but I just like it because. I just like, I like cameras, I don't know, they're just well-made, precision kind of bits of equipment, aren't they? I kind of like them. The fact that you can't use it is, well, you can use it. You can go along to the shop and buy some 35 millimeter film and you can, you can use it. Maybe uh, we should, uh, I'll tell you what though, you know, when you, yeah, when you when we used to take photographs, we used to have to make every photograph count, didn't we? Because we only had twenty-five or thirty-six, and then you had to pay for each one. And um, so you you used to sort of compose your shots, you know, a bit better, didn't we? We put a little bit more effort into it rather than these days. Everyone's got a camera in a back pocket. I'm tired of digital photographs in a way. I don't know, this is just it's a whole sort of, the whole thing that goes along with it, I'm kind of, I think I want to go off grid and just go and live in the mountains, be a mountain man. <laughs> rediscover, rediscover something about life that disappeared. Anyway, give me your thoughts on that. Anybody else out there think like I do? Or am I, or am, I am, am, am I a weirdo? I am a bit of a weirdo actually. I don't mind. I don't mind admitting. And um, yeah, maybe we need a few more weirdos in this world. You know, good weirdos. <laughs> hey, folks! Thanks for joining us. SimonLeachPottery.com is my website. Please go there, have a look. I apologise, I've been my Etsy shop has got way behind, and I've I've got to take photographs of stuff and get them up there. You know, it's like 
Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of things to deal with, all different departments, and you just don't manage to. But if anybody's interested in any pots or wants to buy anything, write to me. I'll send you, I'll, I can send you images of pots with prices if that interests you, if you don't see anything on the Etsy shop. All right? Workshops are ongoing here. I've got a workshop this coming weekend, June 24th and 25th. I've got two, two spare places on that workshop. We're only four of us so far. So if that interests you, write to me. Also, uh, yeah, July also, that I have two workshops and I've got um, spaces on both of those workshops. I think I've got one space on one and two or three on another date in July. Anyway, give us a shout if you want to come along. And um, yeah, apart from that, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to get these glazed now because these are not being bisqued. These are they're going to be raw glazed and <clears throat> in the kiln. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Don't forget, keep practicing. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.